Right, so you had one job, and that one job was to install four circuits, and those four circuits are all the same circuit. The same load, the same length, and all of that. But you've chosen to install the four circuits in four different methods, or four different routes. So the first circuit, you've chosen to go into trunking, and then connect the equipment in a higher ambient temperature than the average air temperature. The second circuit, you've also gone through the trunking into the higher temperature, but also then gone through a load of thermal insulation. The third one, you went through the trunking, didn't go into the high ambient temperature, but just went into the thermal insulation. The fourth one, you didn't go in the trunking or in the higher temperature or in the thermal, you just left it in ambient air temperature. Right, let's see how the different factors will adjust these. So first thing is, what factors will we need? Well, we'll get the uh, 30 degree one first. 70 degree thermoplastic, 30 degree means here the CA factor will equal, looking at table 4B1 in the wiring regulations, 1. Which basically means no factor, no effect. But then there's a 40 degree one. So looking at the same table going up to the 40 degree, it goes 0.87. So for these two cables, they're going this high temperature, there is a potential CA factor of 0.87. Right. Is there a grouping factor? Well, there's three in a group there. So I'll go to my CG table, which is table 4C1. Bunched in there on surface, embedded or enclosed. They're enclosed and trunking. There are three of them. That's 0.7. So I have a CG here of 0.7 to apply to these circuits individually, or 0.70. So, CA, CG. Is there a CI? Thermal insulation there. If we turn all the way back in the wine regulations to section 5, 2, Which is all the way back on. Using this Xbox hard when you're trying to lean over. Right. Um, page 131. Nope, wrong page. Page 133. Table 52.2 says if we're going through 400 mil, it's 0.51. Or a half a meter or more is half. So we're going to go with half. So we're going to go with half. A factor of half for over here. CI equals 0.5. Well, that's fine. It's easy to understand. We've got these different factors for different reasons. But what I wanted to actually cover with this video is what do we do with these individual circuits now? I mean, for circuit one, do I apply a factor of 1 and 0.7 and 0.87? Circuit 2, do I apply 1, 0 0.7, 0 0.87, and 0 0.5? Circuit 3, do I apply 1, 0 0.7, 0 0.5? Circuit 4, just 1. If I do that, I'm going to waste my design. So, circuit 4, we'll start with that one. That one's a piece of cake. There's one factor, and that is 1 which basically means no factor. So in that case, the IZ will be the same as potentially I, um, IN, or nearest one up from there. In the case of circuit 3, we've got the 1, the 0.7. So I have, we'll do this in green. So for circuit 3, I have factor of 1, 
a factor of 0.7 and a factor of 0.5. But the bit of cabling here that is being affected by the grouping and so we'll have this factor applied for it doesn't have a problem here this factor here is for this cabling so if I apply this factor here and this factor here together that's unnecessary what I need to do is just apply the worst one and the worst one the worst factor is the factor nearest to zero closest to one equals good nearer to zero equals bad so the one of these that's nearest to zero 0 0.7 0.5 I'll use so I'm actually just gonna go for circuit 3 circuit 3 equals I n over 0.5 one factor circuit 2 now same here applies as circuit 3 I've got grouping here and I've got the thermal so I'll do the 0.5 again but what else is happening at the exact same time as that cable is in the thermal insulation it's also in the higher ambient temperature it's the wrong pen circuit 2 is blue so I go to circuit 2 I'm gonna have IN over I'm going to ignore 0.7, that's out here. But I'm going to have a combined effect here. This bit of cable is only affected by the CA. This bit of cable, though, is affected by the CA and the thermal. So what I need to do for this one, for circuit 2, is combine my CI by my CA which gives a new factor and I'll just calculate this quickly when you combine the two together you should come up with a lower value than any of the other values so I should have something lower than 0.5 here so 0.5 times 0.87 gives me 0.435 a new factor which is even worse that's the factor I'll apply to that cable because of the combined effect here. Now in the case of circuit one, circuit one we'll just do up here. I've got the one factor I'll ignore, I've got the grouping of 0.7, and I've got the temperature of 0.87. So I'm gonna do similar to circuit three here. Oh, I'm gonna recognize them both, 0.7 and 0.87, and the one that's n closer to zero, so 0.7, I will use because 0.7 here will accommodate this effect here. So for circuit one, I apply 0.7 factor. For circuit two, I apply a 0.435 factor. For circuit three, I apply a 0.5 factor. And for circuit four, I don't apply a factor. Big changes from little different methods of installation. When you're using factors, identify them and only combine them if they coexist, if they happen at the same place. Otherwise you're going to make that cable bigger for no reason.